Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, September 20th, 2022. All right, let's get started. One across, a little bit of everything, and this is a wordplay clue that's indicated by this question mark here. What you have to do with wordplay clues is look for a punny answer. I'm not sure what the standard reading of this would be. I guess it would just be asking for a little bit of everything, as in food, maybe at a buffet? Um, maybe the punny answer is going to be a word that literally means a little bit of everything? That could be the word oleo. That's kind of like a mishmash of things. Let's see if we can build off of that. Spot for some sacraments. Hmm. I would want this to be altar. What is this one? Neutral tone. I guess this could be a neutral speaking tone. It could also be a neutral color. Hmm. I'm starting to think oleo is not right. Group of eight. That should be an octet, right? Yeah, let's take this out. Let's put in octet and also alter. And let's see, does that help here? A little bit of everything. Hmm, neutral tone. I guess that could be beige. I'm still not sure what this should be. Shoestring, that should be a lace. Not together. Uh, I would want this to be a part, so maybe this is an octad instead of an octet. Yeah, let's try a part and call again. That should be redial, as you would with a telephone. Neutral tone. Okay, so this is not beige. Maybe it's taupe? That's kind of a tan color. Hmm. Is this going to be A to Z? <laughs> I guess that would be a little bit of everything, right? Wow, that was very tricky to see. That's a very tough one to start off this puzzle. Standards for measuring. Hmm. Uh... I'm not sure what they're asking for here. I guess it could be like units of measurement? Hmm. This one's tricky. Four letter member of the four corners. Hey, we just had a four corners themed puzzle a couple of weeks ago. I think that's gonna be Utah, right? There's Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico. That was a fun one. That's a nice little echo of that puzzle. All right, let's go ahead and look at this first long across. This might be our first theme answer. Verbal disapproval of a boy king. And this does have a question mark at the end of it, so it does involve some kind of wordplay. But because it's possibly a theme answer, it might work a little bit differently than a standard wordplay clue. Verbal disapproval of a boy king. Well, King Tut was a boy king, right? He was an Egyptian pharaoh, and we do have Tut at the beginning here. I wonder if it's just going to be Tut, 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 because if you Tut, Tut someone, you're expressing verbal disapproval, and that would just be King Tut's name repeated three times. That's pretty funny. I have a feeling that might be what our theme is based on. We have a phrase that repeats the same sound, and it's also going to be able to be someone's name. Yeah, that's very interesting. Hmm. This one is looking very strange. Z-E-T? Interesting. You know what? Let's take a look at this next long across. This has got to be our next theme answer. Food for a sturdy Chinese dog. Hmm. Uh, is it really going to be something that repeats a bunch of times? A sturdy Chinese dog. I'm not sure about this one. Brain section, that's gonna be a lobe. Hmm. I want this to be a C, maybe? Very interesting. Well, let's keep building this way and maybe we can get the end of this theme answer. Like the name Bell for the inventor of the telephone. That's a very apt name. Yeah, that's an aptonym. Growth in an aquatic bloom. I guess that could be alga, the singular form of algae. It's a date. 
and these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. I think let's would be a good equivalent here. Overabundance. That could be a glut. That's a lot of something, right? Email action with a paperclip icon. That's definitely attach. And we have pelt here, hit as with snowballs. Yeah, that's right. Participate in a playground contest. Hmm, uh, is it gonna be stare? You could do a staring contest. Fragrant conifer. I wanna say this is cedar. That's a very fragrant tree. Blank speed wagon. This is going to be either Rio or REO Speedwagon, depending on if you're talking about the car or the rock band. Okay. Try to find a reason. Hmm. Is this about investigating? I'm not sure. It does look like this is repeating, right? We have H-O-H-O. -H -O. That's a good sign. Part of 10JQKA. It looks like those are representing the high value cards in a deck of cards. I think that's gonna be an ace, okay. Advantage, so to speak. Hmm, it seems like this could be a lot of things. There's a lot of metaphors for having an advantage. It does look like this answer is gonna be repeating three times, just like our first one did. And we have this C here, so I think we can put a C here and here. Uh, hmm. I don't know what this is gonna be, though. Food. Hmm. I don't know what kind of food would fit in here. Very interesting. Hurl. This is throwing something? Hmm. This is tough. Let's see if we can get a fresh start up in this corner. The A of the ABC Islands? Hmm. Is it Aruba? I'm not sure about that. Let's see if we can build off of that. Coastal Inlet. Yeah, I think that's going to be a Rhea. Boxing match could be about. Uninvited picnic guests. These aren't going to be people. I think these are going to be ants. Yeah. Drink slowly. I think this is going to be sip on. Beyond repair. Hmm. This should probably be kaput. That's funny, that's a little German loan word. What is this? Asked something? Tried to find a reason. I don't think it's asked for. Hmm, I'm still not sure how this should end. Advantage, so to speak. Okay, this has gotta be upper hand. Hmm, I guess we can put an O in here. The art of love poet. I imagine that has to be Ovid. All right, let's try and get this last letter here. Productions of Spider-Man. I guess he produces webs, right? So is it Chow Chow Chow? Hmm, that's a little weird because in this one it makes sense because verbal disapproval, you would tut multiple times. But for this one, Chow Chow Chow? Food, you don't usually say chow 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 a bunch of times. It's usually just chow. Chow is food, right? Very interesting. And I guess a chow is a Chinese dog. Hmm. Maybe this is asked why? That makes sense. That gives us heave for hurl. It is about throwing things. We have a nib, a pen tip, that's right. Stack of bills could be a wad. Bracelet dangler? That has to be a charm from a charm bracelet. Ushered out. That seems like it should be a led away. Yeah. Musical set in Oz with the. I think that's the whiz, right? Her person? Maybe it's a pop? If you're talking about prices, maybe? Is this rip? Common wardrobe malfunction. Yeah, that's right. Uh, hmm. This is still looking really weird to me. I almost wonder if something is wrong in here. What's this across? Accolades presented in Nashville for short. I want this to be Country Music Awards. That would leave us with Zetrix? Shouldn't that be Metrix? Oh my god. This is not A to Z. This is an atom. 
That's a little bit that makes up everything. That is a nice punny answer. I think that's much better than A to Z. That's really good. Okay, French word in many bistro names. I think that's gonna be Shay. If I remember correctly, it means something like by or at. So if the restaurant is Chez Louis, it means at Louis. I believe that's right. Leading to syllabic or chromatic. Could that be mono? If you're monosyllabic, you only speak in one syllable words and monochromatic is only one color. Not even once. Hmm, I'm not sure about this one. Megan Three Stallions, Blank Girl Summer. I know I've heard of this singer before. Is it hot? Lack of joie de vivre. Uh, I guess that's gonna be ennui. Yeah, a lot of the time, if there's a foreign language phrase in your clue, that means they want the answer to be in that same foreign language. In this case, it's French, yeah. Conference call for Mazda's marketing team. All right, I think this has to be Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. I guess that is kind of funny because the conference call software we all use now is Zoom and Mazda's old tagline was Zoom Zoom, although I think it was only twice. Yeah, it's interesting that it's three. Hmm, chow chow chow. Yeah, I'm not sure why these are being repeated three times. I think even in the case of Tut Tut, that's usually only said twice. Oh, it finally hit me. It's because it is only being said twice. The third one is the name, you're tut-tutting King Tut. I guess in this one, it's chow-chow, food, for a chow. And this one is zoom-zoom, that's the Mazda tagline. Zoom, that's the conference call. That's really funny. In this one, actually, it seems like it's reversed. Yeah, the part that's being repeated is at the end of the clue. Okay, very nice. I think we finally have our head wrapped around how this theme is working. Not even once. I really want this to be at no time, but that's a little too short. Thurman of the producers. That's Uma Thurman. Tina Fey's 30 Rock Roll. Her character was named Liz Lemon, right? It's a very memorable name. Anthem Contraction. I think they're talking about the national anthem of the United States. I think it's gonna be Or, or the Ramparts we watched. All Seeing Being. Hmm, is this some kind of god or goddess? I don't know. Let's do these acrosses here. Less tanned, say. That has to be paler. Shake and etch a sketch, say. If you shake and etch a sketch, you erase it. Nice. Does that help? Let's see. Is it an oracle? Oh, that's very confusing. It's not a two part clue, even though it's referencing this one. Maybe this is gonna be another kind of all-seeing being? No, mammal made from the first four letters of oracle. Oh, okay, so that has to be an orca. It's a little bit of an anagram, okay. Maybe this is at no point. There we go, that makes a lot of sense. Prefix with chemistry, maybe that could be biochemistry. Go 10 plus miles in a triathlon, say. Uh. I guess that's gonna be bike? I thought you biked a lot more than 10 miles in a triathlon. Hmm, although there are different lengths of triathlons, so maybe that does make sense. The faintest thing? I haven't the faintest idea. All right, this is looking like it's gonna be an idiom. Put two and two together, e.g. Oh, this is super, super tricky. They're not asking for another way to describe putting two and two together. They're asking, what is the phrase, put two and two together, an example of, and it's an example of an idiom. That's very tricky, it's a little bit meta there. Martial art with bamboo swords. I believe that's called kendo. Consumed. This is tricky because this could be an adjective or a past tense verb. I believe it's an adjective, I think it's gonna be eaten. And then we have Ode for Praiseful Poem. That looks great, very nice. Take to the Seas, that's gotta be Sail. Termini, 
This is a very unusual pluralization. This is the plural of terminus. So our answer needs to be plural to match the pluralization in the clue. But terminus is an end. So I think our answer should be ends, plural. Excellent. Jar toppers are gonna to be lids. Animated princess voiced by Edina Menzel. That's definitely gonna be Elsa from Frozen. And I think we know what our last theme answer is gonna be at this point. We have the first three letters filled in and those should repeat two more times, right? Is this gonna be about the can-can, the dance? Let's take a look. Glutes developed while dancing at the Moulin Rouge. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's going to be a can-can can. That's going to be a can-can developed rear end. Yeah, or a can. That is very, very funny. Excellent. All right, so we have a CSA here. Local Produce Org. Yeah, that's a farm share. And because there's an abbreviation in the clue, that means our answer needs to be abbreviated also. Revenue minus cost, that would leave you with profit, right? Actress Kaylee, ooh, I don't know if I recognize this actress. Puts two and two together, e.g. <laughs> this is so funny. All right, so this is the exact opposite of this clue that we had down here. This one was being meta and asking us what this phrase was. In this case, they actually are asking us to tell them what putting two and two together is an example of. Yeah, that is so funny. It's going to be ads puts two and two together. I love that pair of clues there. That is really, really good. That's a great example of how tricky they can be with clues like this. They can go in two totally different directions. Okay, dollars and cents EG. Another example clue. Hmm. I guess these would both be examples of amounts. Dollars and cents are amounts of money. Yeah. Central. That looks like it should be focal, like a focal point. You've got a friend in me, another equivalent phrase. It seems like this is maybe I care. Is that right? What is this? This looks a little strange. Oh, this is the actress, right? Hmm, I guess that could be right. As of yet, it seems like that should be to now. So maybe this is Kaylee Cuoco. I don't know if I've ever seen that name before. This will be taro, tropical root vegetable. Yeah, that's what they use to make poi. And this should be slew, staked as a vampire. Yeah, that's how you kill a vampire. You gotta stake them in the heart. Excellent. All right, let's throw this W in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in 31 minutes. That's a pretty long time for a Tuesday, yeah. It definitely took us a little time to get our head wrapped around how exactly this theme is working. I was looking at this clue again, and I think I finally figured out exactly how to parse it. I think the Chinese dog is a chow chow, and food would just be chow. Yeah, that makes much more sense to me, and that means it's kind of formatted like zoom 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 was. So we ended up with tut tut tut, chow chow chow, zoom zoom zoom, and can can can. <laughs> Those were all really funny. Yeah, this was a very good challenge for a Tuesday puzzle. Even though we realized early on that the theme answers were just going to be the same word repeated three times, it was still a good challenge to figure out exactly why that was happening. Yeah, that was very rewarding. We finally got the upper hand after struggling with it for a while. I really liked this wordplay clue, starting off the puzzle, a little bit of everything. That was very clever. It actually took us a while to get the correct answer. And of course, this pair of clues, put two and two together, e.g. for idiom, and also puts two and two together, e.g. for ads. That was nice and tricky and a good example of how the same type of clue can actually lead you in two totally opposite directions. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that Tuesday puzzle with me. I hope I wasn't repeating myself too much. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.